Uh, my name's Joanne Moore and I'm from Derby. I've lived here for many years and my role back um, quite a few years ago was the um, support nurse for the APB workers um, here in Derby, which I did for about, I think it was about five years, I think it was, um, in that role. But even though when the position finished, I was still um, the <coughs> nurse that was portrayed as the support nurse, even though I was sort of basically employed um, um, not in that role, but I was still, they'd often come to me for, um, for their care, wanting, wanting, um, wanting answers, which I couldn't give them, of course, but um, yeah, um, basically to help support them with um, toxicologists that would come up and give them um, the medical care to see whether they could get answers which was very hard but um, and of course it was hard for them um, they probably didn't understand the reports once they come back um, to them um, those reports then went to of course of course work work cover and that was probably sort of the end of it for mine I, I couldn't sort of take that any further as I uh, as they'd often say to me um, what can we do for, you know, more, Joanna? Well, it was out of my hands, of course. It was between the government and and um, the insurance companies and whether they were going to um, help the families or not. So, but my main role was to, you know, help them through with their um, medical needs and, um, uh, you know, if they needed to see a doctor, organise that organise any specialist appointments for them. Um, yeah, basically that was it, really. Yeah, it, it has affected the community a lot. You know, there's still um, families out there that want answers and um, they just haven't been able to get answers. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard thing. Um, they come in and that you know of course they, a lot of the clients still come and see me but um, for their medical needs and see the doctors but that's not really what they want they'll uh, they, the community still and family still want answers but they know you know a lot of these people are passing on and haven't had answers and that's still in the community now, really. Yeah. Uh, if, if they were asked to use those chemicals now, of course they'd say no. You know, they would have the, um, you know, the protection, um, you know, your full outfits to use. Um, and most of them would be saying, well, you know, if you're expecting me to do this, I'd, I'd, I want quite a bit of money. Um, because, uh, well, yeah, the da danger range even of something using some of these chemicals. But um, as, as I say, the chemicals, that, you know, these days, you just wouldn't use them. And you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't use them without protection. You know, and that's concluding full protection, you know, gloves, masks, the whole lot. I had a magic one. Well, money wouldn't be wouldn't be an answer. Uh, a lot of these people just want closure, and um, um, for the government to say um, yes, it did happen, and yes, it was wrong. But at this stage, you know, the families are saying that they have just keep being told that it didn't happen, and so yeah. But a lot of the families, I think, just want closure um, for them. And the older they get, um, you know, the more apparent it is.